Good morning, church family. My name is Ingrid Mergenthaler, and I'm here to welcome you to the Apopka Seventh-day Adventist Church today, where our mission is to extend the ministry of Christ to our community with hope and wholeness. Creation health is an interesting concept. Um, you know, we graft it onto almost any part of the healthcare spectrum that you're in. If you're otherwise healthy, perhaps even young, um, I, those are tenants that would allow you to stay healthy and stay uh, young, certainly at heart, but even physically be uh, very, very healthy as you age. On my end, where patients extreme, have extreme uh, heart dysfunction, uh, after transplant, for example, we still use Creation Health, those same tenants, uh, to keep people healthy after their heart transplant or after a, a ventricular assist device. So it's really applicable everywhere at any point in health or sickness. All right, church family, I'm sitting here with George and Reba Crawford, and I'm just gonna ask them a couple of questions about who they are. They've been members here for a while. Uh, George and Reba, how long have you been here as a part of our church? Oh, so uh, in October, it'll be 14 years since Reba and I moved our membership wow. here at Apopka Church. And where are you all from? Where, what's home originally for you? I'm a Florida cracker born at Advent Health oh, oh, a long time ago. <laughs> wow. Yeah, we haven't always lived here, but this is home for me. Yeah, Excellent. And what would you say is your mission? Well, how are you involved in mission here at the church? Well, our mission, obviously, where's my part in the mission of hope, extending hope and wholeness to the community? So, Mac, you know, I really have a passion about Bible study and sharing the Word of God and um, at, the, at the local church here. Mm -hmm. But outside of the church, obviously we can't preach to people and quote Bible texts all the time. So every day my morning, my prayer is, Lord, help me to be like Jesus today as I interact with people in that secular setting. And maybe they can be, find something different. And you know, um, I have opportunity. God makes opportunities in my business and even my team. I have a team of realtors that I, I'm the team leader for. and. God gives opportunities to pray and share scripture with folks. He just opens those doors. So I think it's about being ready in season and out of season, both in the church and out of the church. But, um, yeah, so I'm really passionate about evangelism, both personal and public evangelism. So that's where my heart Very is in good. mission and, and, helping the, and helping the need. And you've been doing it for quite a while, too. So, yes. Now, Reba, I know you're very much involved in our music ministry. Yes. What else is your passion? Well, that's my main thing, but mm -hmm. I do help George with Sabbath school. Sometimes he's a Sabbath school teacher, and I right. just help him in the, in as we are studying. No, very good. Uh, so, yeah, well, thank you for sharing your family business with us. And uh, I know that you're going to continue to be a part of our mission here. Amen. Amen. Thank Thanks you. For you. Thank you, Matt, okay. for putting us together for making the church connect. <laughs> okay.
that's all the news for this week. If you want to read more, you can go on our online bulletin. And we pray that we will see you again next week. Have a blessed Sabbath.